Hey lads, tech scanning here. So while the Samsung Galaxy S24 series is well far away from us, but we are already getting key details about the lineup. The Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus will feature flat edges and upgraded display panels, while the S24 Ultra will receive a 5x telephoto camera instead of 3x, and we may see a more durable S24 Ultra because of the titanium frame. However, now here comes what was the biggest nightmare for the Samsung fans in the past, the Samsung Exynos chipset. So as per a new report, the Samsung Exynos chip will make a comeback on the Galaxy S24 series, which means like before the S23 series which used Snapdragon entirely, we may see the Samsung Galaxy S24 series with the latest Exynos 2400 in some markets like Africa, Europe and some parts of Asia. While in the US, China and South Korea, Samsung may sold Galaxy S24 series with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Fortunately, a new report from Antutu's Chinese website already gives us insights about the Exynos 2400. And according to that, the Exynos 2400 will be built on the 4 nanometer process, the same as the 8 Gen 3. However, unlike the 8 cores on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the Exynos 2400 is rumored to feature 10 cores with a prime core clocked at 3.1 GHz, which is slightly slower than the 8 Gen 3's prime core. In general, higher core count means the chipset is able to handle multiple applications at the same time, while higher clock speed results in faster application loading and running. So it will be interesting to see how Samsung will do the optimization part for smooth performance. And to be honest, based on the history, we don't have good vibes. Moving to the GPU department, here the Galaxy S24 series will have an upgraded Xclipse 940 GPU that utilizes 2x the GPU cores than the 920 that we saw on the Galaxy S22 Ultra's Exynos 2200. So this means the Xclipse 940 GPU will likely to have 12 GPU cores. Now, of course, it is too early to say if this change will result in better graphic performance than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. But I think it is safe to say, the Galaxy S24 Ultra with Exynos 2400 will offer noticeably better graphics performance than the Exynos 2200. The more exciting part, the upcoming Samsung chipset will also support two-way satellite communication for emergency calling and messaging, similar to iPhone's emergency SOS via satellite. So it sounds like the Exynos 2400 could be a solid chipset. However, considering in the past Samsung failed to deliver a well-optimized chipset, it is understandable why the Exynos chipsets are being considered as the biggest nightmare for the Samsung fans. Moving forward, another big reason why Samsung may switch back to Exynos chipset, even despite the incredible performance of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on the S23 series, is because as per a report Qualcomm's next generation chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will cost higher than the previous generation. Anyway, let me know what are your thoughts on the Galaxy S24 series with the Exynos 2400. We just hope if not on par, but at least it should offer performance something near to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Of course, I will keep you updated on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.